Hello guys, Valentine Ose here. I hope you are following up with all our tutorials. If this is your first time on this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified. In this tutorial, I want to explain the various panel that is located inside Legacy Title in Premiere Pro CC. So let's go to our file, New Legacy Title. If you've not seen a tutorial on how to create simple shapes using the legacy title, hit the card icon at the top of your screen to see the tutorial on how to create shapes in legacy title. So we have various panel. We have the properties. If you click on these three lines, these are where you see all the necessary information that makes up the legacy title this is a tool when you click on this tool every information here is what is highlighted so this is a panel of its own these are the tools you have the selection tool you have the type tool this is what you use in creating your your titles you need this is your area tool then this is your vertical tools when you want to create titles like this Let's say we want to create vertical tools like, let's say mark, you see? This is how we create the vertical write-up. So that tool is essentially for the vertical. So if you want to increase it, hold on your shift, and this is it. So that is for creating vertical tests. We get rid of that. We have the path type 2, which is the vertical type 2 to make your test land. So you have the pen 2, you have the delete echo points. A tutorial on echo points will be created. Then you see how to add echo points. Echo points are spots where you would want to manipulate certain things on your test. So these are the shapes. If you've not seen a tutorial on how to create shapes you can hit the card icon to see the tutorial these are various shapes when you want to create any shape so this is like this is just a preview kind of monitor to see anything that you select if you click on this shape it shows you that you are selecting the rectangular shape so any of all these things that you select is what is preview here you should click on this icon it shows that you are on the test. This is just a preview for the two. So the next one is you come back to see that is a styles. So the style is one other area that is very, very important. This is it. This is the style. These are presets of various titles that you have inside of the legacy title. So even when you want to create your own title and save it here as a preset, this is where it will be on. So these are the styles. So you can pick up this, you type, let's say GPP. So you see it picks that particular font style. These are default styles that are created. So you can as well create your titles and styles then you save them if you want to save this back is to come this way and click on new style when you click on new style this is the name of this font so let's say we want to name it another you click ok you see it pop up here so that is how you create styles and save them under the palette that they are here so the next thing i'm going through this so that each aspect will be well treated so the next one is action these are where you align and ensure that your titles shapes or whatever you're creating inside this legacy title are properly in position so if you want to center it you just click this is for the vertical then this is for the horizontal so these are the lines you see here 
this is the vertical and this is the horizontal line everything here you see this dot aligns with this so when you when you click on this icon it brings it to the horizontal and this align it with the, so everything is centralized so this is for the alignment so everything that is here is the action these are the property the property is where you have full control over your titles you have your opacity this is for the transform mode whatever you want to transform your test to look like this is the s position y position width and height so you're talking about the s position your horizontal line then when you're talking about your y you're talking about your vertical line so whatever you're doing if you talk about your width is to widen it and the height is to stretch it rotation this is to turn your test if you want it to be 360 degree that is how it is let's undo that under these properties you have your fonts the inbuilt font and other fonts that you may have downloaded and installed in your computer will be displayed here these are the font size to increase the fonts and reduce it this is the aspect ratio that is how thick you want your tests to be and how narrow you want them just as i'm doing now if you're bringing them out how widening you want it to look so these are what is there the leading is a line between if we have another test and you clicking on this leading it creates space in between paragraphs or in between character in the horizontal level so the canny is to space each character out which is each letter this is canny so that is what canny does so if you bring in it you see it closes the character the space in between character in the vertical form is what the canny does so why the tracking is opening space in between characters so the baseline if there is baseline this is it it's just baseline shift then you talk about the slant if you want it slant if you want it bent if you want it bent backward or forward however it is those are the things that you use that for the small caps so if you click on this one and maybe increase it it cannot take effect but when you write on small caps and you want to increase it to big font this is already in capital letter that is why you see it's not displaying that way so underlined if you want your tests to be underlined that is how it is so this other area is the fill you have the fill let's close it you have four major elements under here we've explained the properties the fill is where you make adjustments to your colors so if we want to change this yellow to let's say blue you see instantly it takes that color so this is on the linear gradient let's say we want to change this to red it takes that color so these are the ways to work with it there are various options so if you want a straight color to be on it you click on solid and this is what appears if you want the radial gradient to have to appear like this you can now decide to choose let's say green then this is what you see so if you make adjustments to it or you bring this one here this is how so you can use it to design you can also reduce the opacity just as i'm doing now so it has its own control so these are some of the things that you are able to do with the legacy title if you've not seen this tutorial on how to create simple tests you can click the card icon to see that tutorial these are the options so there is shadow on it that is why you see it's highlighted if you bring it down you have controls over the shadow if you want your shadows to be any color you can click on this spot and select the color you want your shadows to be then the opacity still remains how you want your shadow if you want it to be pronounced 
or faint that is how it is the angle that you want your shadow to come in from the distance is how far you want the shadow to go away from your characters and the size if you really want it broadened or narrowed down if you've not seen the tutorial on how to add backgrounds to your test hit the card notification at the top of your screen to see how that is done so if you want to add texture if you want to add the chain so these are ways that you go about it let's say i want to my logo to be on this is to is for me to choose that texture icon come to this spot and click on open so you see it the logo is here so because this is custom this is not a uh, pre-made i may also create if you want to if you want detailed tutorial on how to create custom uh, texture for your test you can state it in the comments below so that we get that done in subsequent tutorial i will have other breakdown on using various tools like the same properties that you have here you have it at the top and also on at the right hand side so these are tools as well this is to take in bold your your characters is to italicize and this to underline these are shortcuts for it there is a canning like i was showing you so virtually all the properties you have at the right hand side which is this area you also have them at the top here if this is your first time on this channel hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see a series of tutorials on how to use the premiere pro cc thank you i am valentine Ose. see you in our next tutorial